hello again. Well, it is that time, finally, surely it is time to start the first batch of seeds. <sighs> to say that I'm excited is a bit of an understatement and more actually relieved. It's been a long journey to this point already and my goodness, it's just the beginning. So. I am going to be starting a bunch of different seeds today, and this is the first batch. I have several batches um, all the way through until probably the beginning or end of April, beginning of May, depending on how the weather turns out. Today I will be starting lavender, some lisianthus, some snapdragon, Iceland poppies, and some eryngium. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I do. I have three different lavender that I'm going to try. Some Eryngium, the blue glitter, Iceland poppies, Snapdragon, I have a lavender, a mix, and an ivory, and then four different types of Lysianthus. So I've already made my, um, my little tags here, and I put what they are. I'm going to put the date up here, and then the type. Some Lysianthus, Lavender, and then a couple other ones. I don't know if you can see behind me or not, but yes, that is snow. So it actually yesterday, after having some really nice weather and basically thawing all of the snow that we had had over the winter, it decided to blizzard blizzard and what should have been a half inch to an inch turned out to be three to four inches. It has since melted a little bit, but we're still a blanket of white. Um, but I can start seeds nonetheless, right? Here is a list. I created a spreadsheet with the help of my mom with what we have, when and when we're going to sow it. I'm a bit behind on a couple of things, as you can see. But then what we also did is we labeled in column J there, if you can see, we labeled what tray it's going to be and if it's a large tray or a small tray. And I'll show you what I mean there. So I'm going to be referencing this and making sure that I kind of keep to our system. Of course, I ordered more seeds, of course, of course. So I'll be a little lenient with the system, but I think we had some extras lined up anyway. So I'm about a week behind, about a week to 10 days behind, but I'm gonna start it anyway. I do have a hoop house, so hopefully uh, things will work out, fingers crossed. When I'm talking about my trays on the spreadsheet, I'm talking about a large tray and a small tray. This 10 by 20 with, uh, I have inserts to go in there, that's a large tray. Over here on my other system, it can hold the large trays a little bit awkwardly, um, but this is our small tray. So these are 24 cell trays, and they're a little bit um, they're a little bit bigger than like your 72 plug trays, or even I think I have 48 uh, plug trays. Um, so that's when I'm referencing the large and small. That's what I'm referencing. Okay, I have my seed mix tray here and the soil right there. I'm going to need one large tray with the inserts and I believe one small tray. So I'm going to go grab that. Oh, and I forgot I need some water because I'm going to mix water in there and I got to grab some gloves. So I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I got my, I have my water, I have my gloves, so I'm going to start mixing the water into my soil so that I can, um, have it pre-moistened and then we can get it going.
My first seeds, these Lysianthus seeds, they're so tiny, they're in this little package. So this one says to do not cover seed as light as needed for germination. I'm going to do, I have four different varieties, so I'm going to do one line of each variety. So I should, I'm going to label these. These are going to be the blue. And then we're going to do the white. I have two kinds of white. Okay, I'm going to look and see what is next. Let's see here. Have our trusty spreadsheet. All right, so we did the Lysianthus, and then I need one tray small for the puppy and the Rinchium. Okay. Train number two. we are. We have our Lysianthus and we have our uh, Poppy and Oryngium and I put them on the heat mat and I will turn the light on. Um, unfortunately, I did this at night. Um, typically you want, you don't, they don't need 24 hours of sunlight so uh, I might I try to get them on a better schedule tomorrow. But I'm going to turn the lights on and have it be nice and warm for them. And fingers crossed. I have to say, though, that this has made me for sure want to do even more seeds. And I can't believe I just stopped there, but I stopped there because I have a schedule that I want to stick to. So making sure that uh, everything is growing the way that... It needs to be for the time I want to put it in the ground. So 
there we are. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. And don't forget to subscribe and go follow Gardens of Leda on Instagram. Thanks, guys. And don't forget that we are cultivating joy. No matter what we're doing and no matter what season of life we're in, we can cultivate joy. And that's what Gardens of Glada is all about, is cultivating joy uh, despite circumstances. And that's what uh, Gardens of Glada was born out of, and that's what I hope to continue to do. And flowers definitely bring joy. And uh, I am enjoying what I'm doing and I'm so excited for the end result. Thanks, guys.